A lot of people are talking about climate change and sea level rise and the impact it's going to have on our coastal cities. We want to make sure we're talking about the impact that's going to happen in places like this, places used by birds and wildlife and are important to people too. Our beaches and shores, well, they're just irreplaceable. In Florida, sea level has risen nine inches in the past hundred years, and if present trends continue, sea level will rise up to three feet by the year 2100. Even one foot of sea level rise could shift saltwater habitats far inland and dramatically reshape our coastal communities. Coastal beaches on the mainland and on barrier islands are important to people for year-round recreation, but beaches are vital to the lives of shorebirds and seabirds that nest directly on the sand. Beaches also provide feeding and resting space for millions of birds that migrate along Florida's coastline, traveling thousands of miles between Arctic breeding grounds and their wintering places in the Southern Hemisphere. Mangrove islands provide predator-free nesting habitat and night roosts for many species of herons, egrets, brown pelicans, and roseate spoonbills. About 35 pairs of American oyster catchers nest on the narrow shoreline of this dry spoil island and there isn't a whole lot of room. And with increasing sea level rise, that habitat will disappear. And once the habitat disappears on the nesting islands, the American oyster catchers really don't have an option to move inland, you know, with the number of terrestrial predators. With rising sea levels, beaches are increasingly vulnerable to erosion and inundation by ever higher tide cycles and storm-driven waves. Where will beach nesting birds nest when coastal beaches are no more? Where will wading birds go when their nest trees have collapsed and washed away? Special places like Egmont Key that host thousands of nesting birds will grow smaller and smaller as sea levels rise. Sea walls cause the beach to erode and birds and sea turtles lose vital habitat. Hardening our coastlines will not hold back the ocean. A smarter choice is to allow beaches to migrate inland by preserving adjacent, undeveloped uplands to act as corridors for coastlines to retreat. Audubon, Florida calls on the public and public officials to learn more about birds and wildlife living in coastal areas and how to protect their habitat in the face of sea level rise. We need to plan for climate change and make sure that our response to sea level rise helps rather than harms Florida's beaches and coastlines.